In this video, we are going to solve our exam review uh, for grade 5, semester 2. Okay? Uh, let us start solving, starting by the first question, where I need to list all the common divisors of 32 and 48. First, I start listing the divisors of 32. 32 is divisible by 1, by 2, by 4. It's 4 times 8, 2 times 16, and 1 times 32. Okay, now 48, 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 times uh, 16, 4 times, 4 times uh, 12, and 6 times 8. So the common divisors for both numbers are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 12. Now I'm a number, I'm, div I'm a divisor of 24, and I'm divisible by 2. So first I'm going to list all the divisors of 24. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, we have 4 times 6. 3 times 8, 2 times 12, and 1 times 24. Now, what are the numbers that are divisible by 2? They are 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So, any of these, so it's 2, or 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So, any answer is correct. Now, in question number, uh, or part C, I need to find... Uh, the greatest number of bunches Flora can make if she uses all of these flowers. And all the bunches should be identical. First of all, I have to list the divisors of 24, 48, and 36 and search for the greatest common divisor. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times 6, 3 times 8, 2 times 12, and 1 times 24. The 48, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, um, 6. 6 times 8, 4 times 12, 3 times 16, 2 times 14, and 1 times 48. 36, it's 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9 and 6 times 6 so I write the 6 only one time now I have a lot of common divisors the greatest common divisor is 12 so she can make uh, 12 maximum of 12 bunches now I need to know in every bunch how many white flowers red flowers and yellow roses uh, if I have 12 bunches and all the white are 24, so 2 in every bunch. 2 in every bunch. I have 2 white roses in every bunch. If I have th uh, 48 red and 12 bunches, so I have 4 red and I have 3 yellow in every bunch. Okay? In question number two, I need to write the following decimals in word form. So let us start by the first one. And as we explained before, you say the whole part as it is, like 34. Instead of the point, you put and 5. 5 in what place? In the tenths. Now, 120. 120. And instead of the point... I have also 5, but the 5 now is in the hundreds. Don't forget the THS. Now I have only 5. Where is the 5? In the thousands. Don't forget the THS. Now I already have them in word form. I need to write them in standard form. Don't forget to circle the end, underline the digit place. I have 37 in the whole part. Instead of the end, I'm going to put point i have two only in the tens so it's like this and thousands 42 
Instead of the end point, I have 34 in the thousands. Thousands means I have three digits, but I, ha but I only have 34. So I write them like this, and the empty places are filled with zero. I have only seven thousands, so seven is in the thousands place. So it's 0 0.007. Now I need to change the decimal numbers into decimal fractions. As I explained for you, you put the line of fraction, you put in the numerator the number as it is without a point, and the denominator depends on how many digits I have in the decimal part. I have two digits, so it's over 100. The second one, it's 736.5, so I put the number as it is without a point over 10 because I only have one digit in the decimal part. Now I have 5 over 1,000 because it's in the thousands place. 3406, it's over 100. 123 over 1,000. And this over 100. Okay, now I'm going to do the, I have already decimal fraction, I need to write it as decimal number. So I have 7 in the tenth, so it's 0 0.7. I have 45 over 10, so I have only one digit in the decimal part, which is 5, so it's 4.5. Here I have two digits, and I have 25, so it's 0 0.25, 25 hundredths. Now, 98 thousands, it's written as 0 0.090. Eight. In this part, you are asked to round the following numbers, first to the nearest ones. Don't forget to underline the digit. You look just before 7, then you add 1 to the 2. It becomes 83. Everything to the right becomes 0, but 0 .000 are useless, so I don't put them. Okay, the same, the second one. It's 123, 2 stays as it is. The 0, we are going to add it 1, so it will become 201. The same steps we are going to do in the 10th. You underline the 10th, which is the 7. We have 8 just before 7, so it becomes 82.8. The zeros to the right are useless. The same thing I'm going to do in the second one. So it becomes 123.4, 2 2.2, and 200.6. Now the hundreds, I underline the hundreds, I look just before, it's 82.79, also the zero is useless. The same thing I'm going to do in the second one, it's 37. 2.19 and 200.56. In question number 3, I need to multiply in order to find equivalent fractions. We might have many solutions for this exercise because you can multiply by any number you want, but you just have to remember that you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So we get 6 over 14. Now I'm going to multiply by 10. So it's 60 over 140. Then I'm going to multiply by 2. It's 120 over 280. And now I'm going to multiply by 2. So I get 240 over 0. Six, five. So you can multiply by any digit you want. I'm going to solve the third one. Times 2 times 2 is 14 over 22. By 2, we will get 28 over 44 and so on. So you can multiply, for example, here by 100. So you get 2,800 over 4,400. So you can multiply by any number you want. Okay, now I need to divide in order to find the equivalent fractions. So if I have 28 over 35, so it's very obvious that I'm going to divide by 7. It's 4 over 5. And that's it. No more fraction. We call this fraction a reducible fraction because we cannot just reduce it anymore. 
okay then I have 20 over 80 I'm going to divide first by 2 so I get 10 over 40 then by another 2 it's 5 over 20 then by 5 it's 1 over 4 and so on uh, always uh, divide by by small numbers because if you directly divide it by 10 you will not find as much as you divide by small numbers now I'm going to divide by 5 so I will get um, 15 then 125 divided by 5 I will get 25 okay then by another 5 so I will get 3 over 5 and so I finished okay um, now I have two fractions those fractions they don't have the same denominator so I'm going to multiply them in order to obtain a common denominator for both of them so don't forget you multiply the first fraction by the second denominator and the second fraction by the first denominator which is seven in both of them I will get the same denominator okay first of all both of them will be over 91 and now 6 times 13 is 78 and 5 times 7 is 35 over 91 okay you know this so the first fraction will be 78 over 91 and the second fraction is 35 over 91 now I'm going to multiply as we said the first fraction by the second denominator and the second fraction by the first denominator I'm going to obtain the same denominator in both of them which is 36 now 2 times 12 is 24 and 7 times 3 is 21 the third one also I'm going to multiply here by 2 and here by the first denominator which is 4 so I will get 2 over 8 and 4 over 8 the last one I will multiply here by 3 and here by 8 so I will get 9 over 24 and 16 over 24 okay so it's very obvious you just multiply the first fraction by the second denominator in both numerators and the denominators and then the second fraction by the first denominator and here we go to the last question the neighborhood association has 25 members so I have a total of 25 members. One fifth of them voted for Nolan for president. How many members voted for Nolan? So I know that one fifth of the members, so of 25, then how do I solve it? Instead of of, I'm gonna put times 25. Now you multiply the numerator, so you get 25 divided by five is five. So five members voted for Nolan. Okay. Now the second problem. Ali and Tala bought 120 flowers. So I have a total of 120. Ali took 2 over 5 of them and Tala took 6 over 15 of them. How much each of them took and how many are left? So first I need to find each one of them. How much did they took? First, Ali. Ali he took 2 over 5 of 120. So I'm going to do it 2 times 120 over 5. So first I need to do 120 divided by 5 is 24. So 2 times 24 is 48. So Ali took 48 flowers. Now let us calculate Tala. Tala took 6 over 15 of 120. So, is 120 divisible by 15? Yes. So I do 6 times 120 divided by 15. So 6 times 8 is also 48. 
flowers. So I can say that 2 over 5 and 6 over 15 are equivalent fractions. Why? Because 2 times 3 is 6 and 5 times 3 is 15. So both of them, they express the same amount and that's what's very obvious in our answer. Now I need to know how many flowers are left. First of all, 48 plus 48 is 97 flowers are taken. So the flowers that are left are 120 minus 97, which is 20, uh, sorry, it's actually 96. Okay, sorry. So 120 minus 96 is 24 flowers. Okay, are left. Let us write full answer. Okay.